India rejoiced as Chandrayaan-3 conquered the moon's south pole. Vikram lander soft landing mid-history. Isro's genius shined as it achieved yet another milestone with modest means. And now, as India takes the lead in space, with Chandrayaan-3 success, the country's space journey stands as a guiding light, transforming dreams into reality and resonating across the world. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Sir, ये क्षण अभूतपूर्व है. ये क्षण विकसित भारत के संखनाद का है. India erupted in joy as Chandrayaan 3's triumph unfurled. Vikram Lander's soft landing on the moon's uncharted South Pole was a moment etched in history. The ISRO command station held its breath, then exhaled cheers of victory. From South Africa's BRICS summit, Prime Minister Narendra Modi virtually linked his presence to this celestial spectacle. India stood tall and interpret pioneer, the first nation to reach out and touch the untouched soil of the moon's southern extremity. In a world of extravagant space endeavors, ISRO, the magicians of innovation, has orchestrated this feat on a shoestring budget at a mere $75 million. They have proven that the magic of determination and intellect can always achieve more than just capital. The entire mission operations right from launch till landing happened flawlessly as per the timeline and we became the fourth country to land to demonstrate the soft landing onto the moon surface and we became the first country to go to the near to the south pole of the moon. Elon Musk, the luminary behind SpaceX and leaders and scientists from every corner of the globe lauded India's cosmic accomplishment. The success of Chandrayaan-3 was followed by ISRO's affirmation on the very next day all steps were perfectly working in line with expectations. The moon's unexplored southern pole holds the promise of new revelations. ISRO, India's space research organization, stated that investigating the moon's southern pole could reveal water and valuable scientific information. We are going closer to south pole, which is 70 degree almost. So the south pole has a spe special uh, advantage with respect to being less illuminated by the sun. And because of that, there is a potential to have more scientific content in terms of retention of water below the subsurface and also elemental composition and other activities, uh, which is an electrical activity on the surface of the moon, to be more dominant there than what it is there at the equator. So science people who are scientists who are working on moon has really shown a lot of interest on the South Pole because ultimately human beings want to go and create colonies on the moon and then travel beyond. So the best place is something that we are looking for. So South Pole has a potential to, to be that. In the cosmic race, India emerged as the frontrunner, its flag planted firmly among the stars. Chandrayaan 3's victory not only adorned the nation's achievements, but also propelled it onto the global commercial stage. And now, ISRO is showing no signs of slowing down. Mission Aditya, the solar mission, stands poised for a September debut. Crew modules and escape capability stands on the brink of demonstration too. The year 2025 can be the year India's maiden manned mission to space could become a reality. A journey that started with whispers has now become a resounding narrative of courage, resilience and boundless aspirations. And if the experts are to be quoted, the game has just begun.